Hey guys, welcome back to another video on the Road Umpire. Today I'm going to be doing a short little video showing how I did my roads. My roads are not finished yet, as you guys can see, but I got a comment by RC Trains and other stuff, I believe it is. I might be saying it wrong. I don't remember exactly what his channel is called. But he was wondering how I did my roads, so I thought I'd go ahead and make a video on how I did my roads. So, the first thing I did was I took a sharpie and a straight edge anything really works i believe i used a yardstick and i figured out how wide i want my roads in my case i think i have it about three and a half inches which is like a 25 foot wide road if i'm correct somewhere around that like 22 to 20 23 feet wide which is a pretty average size so i did that i went around made sure it was all evenly spaced and whatnot and after doing so, I took cardboard strips and I hot glued them on the table all the way around the whole entire road. As you can see, some of them are still here. What you're seeing here is actually the painter's tape. After I put down the cardboard, I put painter's tape on it to make it kind of a smooth surface. So, with that done, I went ahead and I poured my roads. As you can see, this is what a first layer pour looks like pretty rough but then eventually it will turn into these roads which are perfectly smooth this is just a piece of foam that the station will sit on but yeah all the roads looked like this at one point so eventually it will look like this as you can see it's perfectly smooth you're seeing a little bit of color variation in between here that's because it's two different types of plaster. That's just why there's a few different colors. But, yeah. I also use the plaster to make my hills over there. But that's irrelevant at the moment. So, going back to the road. After I poured it, I do one layer like that. Then I do a lot of heavy sanding and do another layer. And a lot of heavy sanding and then usually do a third layer. Or sometimes the third layer is just some extra patching. I know some of the sections even had four layers, including patching, just to make sure it was perfect. So, with that all completed, you end up with a very smooth road. So once your road is smooth, you go ahead and you take the cardboard and you peel it up. Sometimes it leaves just a little bit of paper, but you can paint and scenerize over that. It's really no big deal. Or you can just scrape it off with your knife. It's, it's really no big deal. A lot of times... It just doesn't, it do, just leaves a little bit. Sometimes, like back here, it didn't even leave any. Well, there might be a little bit of glue there. But, it's, it's really it's really no big deal. So, you can just scenerize over that. So, once you pull that up, you can actually pull this one up here. And I'll show you guys. So. Now you can see with this pulled up, this is just extra bits that went inside the cardboard. But as you can see, the side of the road is pretty rough now. Some of it sticks out a little bit, some of it got chipped away, but that's what happens when you pull up the cardboard. So after doing so, I usually take a little more plaster and I just kind of remake the side. I put a glob there. Kind of smooth it out a little bit, wait for it to dry, sand it down, and then uh, it's usually pretty much good to go. It, as you can see, all these sides are pretty much straight because I've patched them up. So after that, you can just go ahead and patch it right on up. So yeah, that's pretty much the technique I use for laying my roads. And one more thing for doing grade crossings. I really don't worry about getting it on the ties. I just go right over it. Then when I'm done, I sand it down, do multiple layers, and then just use my knife and cut the flanges. And if we take a train car here, this one's actually a French train car. As you can see, it goes right over it with no problem. So, yeah, that's that. So obviously, still needs a little bit of sanding and whatnot here. Maybe a little more patching. This side does. 
But this side is pretty good. This needs to be sanded off, and so so it has a lot of it. It just got poured today, so it's it's hard, but it's still moist. That's why it's still gray and not white. This is probably just about ready for sanding. It's still a little bit gray, so I will let that dry a little bit more. But yeah, that's really going to be it for today's video. I thought I'd just show you guys kind of how to do the roads because I had a request to do it. So hope you enjoyed. Let me know in the comments maybe if you decide to use this technique or maybe a different one that's similar to it. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time on The Road Empire.